Hi guys, my name is Sun. I repair musical instruments. Today I'm going to show you how to fix your flute yourself if your A and B key has come loose. It's really, really common and it's easy to do at home. So let's take a closer look. What's usually happened when the A and B keys are loose like this? It's that the rod that comes into the C key is sticking out at the end. You can look out for this little steel point sticking out here. That is actually a screw. If I pull it out, you don't have to do this at home, but I can just take it out to show you. This one needs to be unscrewing first. Let's see. There we go. I can pull this out and show you what it looks like. It's a steel rod with a small section of thread and then a very small point at the end. This point is what holds the A and B keys in place. So that needs to sit through the whole C key and go into this pillar. The thread part sits inside the pillar and then the point sticks out the end holding the A and B keys on. So all we need to do is tighten up the screw so that the point is allowed to travel into the A and B key. The best way to do this is to make sure that you have a screwdriver at hand. You need a flat head screwdriver of approximately 2mm width. That is inserted into the slot of the screw, like so. Then you need to align the A and B keys so that they are ready to receive the, a, um, the tip of the screw. You tighten up, and the way to remember this is righty tighty, lefty looses. You twist towards the right. Now, after all, you'll feel that tip moving into the A and B, and it will be completely solid here. It doesn't move sideways at all. You tighten it up until it's flush with the pillar. Um, and sometimes on some flutes, that can tighten up so much it actually makes these stop moving. If that's the case, just unscrew it a tiny bit. Now it's in place, but the keys are just flopping about. They're not springing properly at all. This is because of the springs not being engaged. You can see them being loose just here and here. They need to be behind the hitch, so this little post sticking down here. This is where it's useful to have a spring hook. This one has a little slot at the end, uh, but anything that looks like this, or even a crochet hook with a little foil uh, mark at the end, will help you doing this. Simply use the slot at the top to get the spring underneath and behind the spring hitch, so the actual post here, it sits behind the post. Same goes for the A key, you hook your hook around the spring and push it behind the hitch. So if I look really closely here now, you can see the spring behind its hitch here and the spring behind its hitch here. Now the, the keys are springing as they should and the flute should play normally. That's it for me today. I hope you found that video useful and do let me know if you have any suggestions or questions in the comment below. Keep the music going!